I guess you could say farming is in my blood. My family has been farming in the U.S. all the way back to the Revolutionary War. My grandfather was my childhood hero. Growing up, I spent countless Sundays on his farm in Iowa. He loved the land and the animals he raised and knew there was a connection between his farm and the health of the land, water, and air all around. That is why, once I learned how much methane cows release into the atmosphere, I never forgot it. I thought, if my grandfather had known about it when he was alive, he would have tried to do something to solve it. I had a long career in business. I wanted to use the skills and knowledge that I had built so far to tackle the problem of cow methane so the next generation wouldn't have to. So I went back to school at Stanford University where I began to learn as much as I could about cow methane. While researching late one night, I found a preliminary study from Australia about a certain kind of red seaweed and how when just a little bit of it was fed to a cow, the amount of methane that cow produced decreased by 80%. I said, if this is true, why isn't anyone using it? I went to speak with a respected colleague about the study. He said to me, don't tell anyone about the 80% thing. They'll think you're crazy. I didn't want to embarrass myself. So I said, I'll keep it to myself. But we both agreed we needed to find out how effective it was. So I put together a team. We raised a million dollars and embarked on a two-year research agenda at a pace rarely seen in academic work. After extensive research, we found that the study was right. We were able to consistently reduce the amount of methane they produced by up to 80%. It was incredible. I knew that this had the potential to help in the fight against climate change. And that's when Blue Ocean Barns was born. 